In today's world, trade is the largest of global market supply chains, which includes competing brands, quality standards, movement of goods across borders, business regulations, cutting edge skills and services. All these activities match up to make a difference. What is behind the headlines? What impact does it actually have on people's daily lives? How can we develop programs that will support countries to get ahead on trade? Trade activities are getting people to act on the agenda of improving trade globally. Agencies and development partners are supporting countries in their roadmaps for change. It's building strong foundations and helping governments bridge to more support. Business Focus takes a closer look at every step involved in the aspect of trade, from identifying, buying, selling, and distribution of goods and services to various parts of the world. Find out from the people themselves what is happening in the daily trading activities and how they go through the hurdles in achieving greatness from the fields, factories, gardens, markets, and to the consumer. Family, welcome to another edition of Business Focus with the Cantona from Star Television, Channel 21. And as always, me, the call the program, Mina George Elliot Sam. And uh, the essence of the program now for promotes Sierra Leonean businesses, the institutions, them where they develop human capital, as we all know, say the president, in keyword now, human capital development. And today, we they, we they look at um, academic, we in education. And we then are one of the oldest, I would say, college, we recently they don't turn to university. We are at the Miltimagai College of Education, now the Miltimagai Technical University. Well, as we all know, say, the technical university aspect of everything, like Ghana and other ASM, uh, we don't see how they don't improve, how they don't go before. And we see so many at times, we get work in there, uh, pass the export people in, or the import people in, inside the country for that they can do them. Well, today they would tell you know, I can say uh, the heads them where they're responsible for talk on behalf of the college on this area them where we can look at today. But before ever we go before, let we take a short break. When we come back, the program will continue. Okay, family, welcome again to the program. As I tell you now today, inside the program, we get a um, galaxy of um, academia, people and way they're responsible for talk on behalf of the college, the university, and also on various issues. Um, well, um, we go start the program with um, the public relations officers. We all know say that the mouthpiece of the university, we <laughs> get plenty of information. Uh, Lizzie, welcome. Thank you very much, Judge. Thank you. Hello, viewers. Well, um, let me look at, um, uh, you get for the premises of um, the discussion. Let me look at the preparedness of the university itself. Well, George, as you know, we are about to um, start another academic year. And right now, admission process is gone because we all know see the WASC results, then just release them. And so, of course, we open the portal again for. Um, candidates then for apply and that's to go on now and very soon the college will reopen 
for the 2022-2023 academic year. We don't start the university academic year last year and we, they can continue. I could say our state of preparedness, we are very much prepared, you know, it's it's never business as usual anyway. Okay. We always they make sure say we do for improve every day and so and all. For now, as I said, the admission process they go on, still they carry on. We don't do interview with the first batch them and very soon they will begin to forget them um, provincial letters them, the one that we successful for you where they out there we some term you don't know because some people can find find them at for go the Website. We got a website, mmtu.edu.sl. You can go to most things where you want to know about the university, with programs, with core system. We get very rich programs, very rich core system. You know, we cater for everybody. This is a technical university. And we can make us we cater for everybody. We get you a one for be the academic, we get you. You a one for be the technical person, we get you. Okay. And we all know now how the the hand works them, you know. Yeah, now it's not all about sitting on the armchair. Yeah. We know now waiting people them where they play with their hands, them, their foot them, we know waiting it means to the economy. Yeah. And at the we they look for for develop the middle level manpower. Okay. And Milton Magai, we are at it. People let I me mean, they say if we can't do this, we go deviate from a middle level manpower mm -hmm. if we go to university. No. We reason for going to university now for let we even develop the middle level manpower. Mm -hmm. Because we'll get somebody we na in Baking it, they do, and I tell all you need to do. He will forget the grip and dandy. We don't develop, not mm -hmm. so. Mm -hmm. Only on that way, something like a certificate or diploma, or you just go no more safe, go learn no more. You don't know, get no paper safe. A line is having work. People need value. Yeah. The way how we do now, we can't see more, especially the paper more. And the second thing, na, na in value. Paper. We in paper. <laughs> the paper na in value. Yeah. So, not to all man who gets that aid, sometimes for stone a classroom, yes. So, we look into it all in the day. So in our state of preparedness, we are very much prepared for start the academic year, and we know say challenges then go day, but we are well uh, uh, prepared for overcome the challenges then day. Uh, okay, thank you very much, um, Lizzie. And as you say, because um, you look at um, we the technical skills that in a way never fade away, but in the 70, 80 years, mm -hmm. still they continue mm -hmm. for doing in technical job then. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that now, uh, Elizabeth, um, she said the PRO for the university has done all the premises of we, we uh, discussion. So we go turn the camera now to Papa Injai. We now in the um, coordinator for short courses and external programs at the university. Welcome again. Thank you, George, and uh, family that we appreciate. Yes, that's Naim, what the reason why we really create this university. Okay. Uh, we call them technical university for a reason. Um, as Lizzie been saying just now, uh, that we don't get Boku universities then. We all don't go through a lot of them. Um, but the challenge is them over the past decades or so now that because it become too theoretical. Uh, we left out people them, you know, and uh, we then they service this economy. For let an economy grow, we don't get for left one person outside. We don't just get for produce more lawyers there again. We don't just get for produce more historians there again. Not that they are bad, but we need that middle level manpower for jumpstart this economy for make a leg grow. Um, you talk about Ghana. Ghana then get good, good uh, technical universities there. Okay. Um, developing countries there again. They focus on the middle level manpower. We don't just get for go right up there for say we just get for produce this level of people there for handle the economy. But the small man, young man and woman, the way they sit on yonder, yeah. they don't try worse, one thing, two things, they know evil now. You know, we say, we're going to find a way how we're going to face kind of people there again, and we train them. Okay. That now we go down there. And this new office, they don't try to do over the past two years. Um, luckily, my colleague now will talk about that. Now, we don't just get the first cohort of people there. You just go, go get where I'm going to come across. I see people there, they do carpentry. I see they do bricklaying. Um, now we campus now, we see the home science department, you know, fashion and tailoring, um, baking and confectionery. See young women, the way society don't say, no, this is not a material they get. They come back, they don't get their certificate. These are the people that we expect for let them go back to society here. Let them not be job seekers, let them be job creators. creators. That's nothing for be the goal of a technical university. Uh, we are we not focus on the theory, we have to focus on the practical, hands on. And uh, we have dozens of programs that we will talk more about that then later. Mm -hmm. We we able, we young brothers and we young sisters, uh, young and old can come back. 
we get the other area with a white collar again. But yeah. We're not professional there. You and I, we can just come evening or weekends then to can learn a program. Just this week here, we the talk so or last week, we get a whole new program from the UK with an accredited way. Uh, when a chartered institute of logistics and transport yeah that's a way for talk exactly. on that for one. the first time in the history of the country mm. now we get this program there uh, with me and you now can add, add small thing now we can go now become professionals then in various departments as i said earlier so we are ready as uh, easy they say the university is open for business uh with the cater for everybody young and old people learn with boko book and people learn with that small little book or you know, again boko and when they come with the work with them one by one and we make sure say this become a productive citizen. You can go back the help for developing your business. Okay, you you, you talk about um, the aspect of technical university. You know, um, somebody will go out there. Um, maybe it will be a strange word now. Is you don't begin for talk on them. Let we see. Let we look at what's not the essence of technical university. Well, as I say, this technical university, and we, we, we are a full university, can get you a degree and all of that. Thing in there. But we want to focus on things that way that they get meaning, way they able for help society for grow. Uh, not just the book theory, not just the theory for can you learn this book knowledge, keep on you get. Now, something way they use your hand, self, self, way they can learn. So, we get 10, 15, 20 percent way in a theory, the balance is practical. Let's say carpentry, for example. All men need that in there. Look at all the chairs the way that they are around there. Will they import them from other parts of the world? Let's say from China. Can we make them locally? The answer is yes. We look at plumbers then. From the highest office to the lowest office, from the biggest house to the smallest house, we need modern day plumbers then that are qualified, trained, certified. These are the people the way they use their hand for help you for now live comfortable in your house. The technical university, not the universities and this now way that they will supply this type of middle level manpower. If you want to go to law school, wonderful. But now we have electrical installation. All the light we see that somebody sit up for doing that thing. But what happens? So people will say, I don't just go learn a true apprenticeship. No, we say, you can now. When they get qualified lecturers there, when they deal with you, then they train you hands on and they give you field practice for go, able to go now say, yes, me be able to play with that kind of thing there. The face can fire inside your house because electric is a dangerous thing. We don't want to let somebody come practice in your house. So that is why the technical university, this new university we're going to say earlier today, is able to handle that kind of, type of middle level issues there we'll talk about. Okay. And uh, this night the president don't talk about. And, uh, and I think say, that is the way forward for now. We're able to grow the economy. We, we said on the union, there. as you said earlier, we don't need to import drivers they get for come all the way from other countries and pulling got the heavy duty machines there. We no need to get plumbers then from other countries then. Now we have to face that come, we train them. Auto mechanics then we can be able to face that come back, train them, certify them, then go back to society and become productive. Well from Ulana Papa enjoy as um you know you waiting he don't they talk about the technical university and you know you don't say we the country don't produce a lot of lawyers, doctors, you know. But still, we still they will say we they so well. I believe say the, the the middle man level power now the only way we we for redeem the country on the um, joblessness of youth and all the other things them we you they look at. Well, in general, all come to you um, as you know which is your colleagues and on the say inside the program. Um, you the Congo Cross and you now the acting dean of um, dean of faculty for the engineering department. In the first place, let us look like how which now the activities in uh, the Congo Cross Day. Thank you very much, George. Um, the faculty of engineering get basically six departments. We get the technical studies department, we get the building and civil engineering department, we get the electrical electronics department, we get the mechanical engineering department. Mm. We get the automobile engineering department, and of course, we get the marine engineering department. Okay. You see, and all the departments here, they work like what my colleague, they don't say, for enhance the middle level manpower. You go agree with me, say, over the years, we don't embark so much on the theoretical aspect of learning. Hmm. But this time around, we want to make sure, say, you know, be job seeker, but be job creator. Initially, we find us when we were a technical um, institution. We don't try for make sure see people and they work with their hands as best as possible. Like for example, if you do civil engineering, we don't want to let you do 
then you're not able to do nothing with your hand. Yeah. There are various causes in civil engineering where you can able for hand where you don't know. For example, get a lot of people waiting at the Ministry of Surveys and Lands. We don't go through the institution. They can be able to use modern surveying equipment. They can be able to use drones. They are okay. able to use theodolite. Okay. For the one that where they are technical studies department, we know we are going now to AutoCAD, not to drawing table anymore. They work in AutoCAD. They're going for do nice drawings in 3Ds for you. We they rebrand the automobile engineering department. We find out, say, we get a huge challenge for getting mechanical in this country. Mm. But if you can't come across, you see what we they do at the automobile department. Where they give them an upgrade, they get a face The student, the way they carry, they're doing 40 percent practical. Mm. So not only for tell you saying that you have to get problem, that you bear in get problem, but they come there, they remove it themselves, they look at waiting at the level of problem and install another one. Oh. That is what we're doing there. Electrical department to get the students them for run across most of the buildings that all they use because we they run the BTEC program and they go up to late in the afternoon. Some of them we get cables that we don't perish. We get the students and say for coming, replace them cables that then we get new one and it's up and running. Go to the carpentry section. That is a fantastic section with people they need for kind of Congo course can see. Mm -hmm. We they do excellent doors, we they do excellent beds them where you can compete with any other carpentry workshop. In fact, like waiting Papa and Jabin, they say that is why we even move into getting the short courses. We do short courses in carpentry, we do short courses in bricklaying. In fact, I will tell you, as I talk to you now, you go to the Congo course, you go to the carpentry department, you go find out say, all the chairs that they use for the students now. Now for we workshop, we do them. Okay. Some of the doors that they use now, now we workshop, we do them. Wow. You see, even the metal doors, we do them at the mechanical department. We get a full-blown workshop where they do metal work. If you go, so the, the campus, you will find out so we don't get a new facelift. The one where they do brick lane, they don't do some brick lane at the campus, we don't even define the roads them properly. And uh, we don't get that moving again. If you go to the plumbing, the one they do plumbing, you find out so we get some area the way water not in the go. We don't able for channel water to all the areas then they. Mm. So that shows you how much we are building the middle level manpower. Most times you will see people graduate from college, from university. They kind of not able to work with the hand. But what we do is we're improving and we're increasing our number of practical hours. For that, at least when you come on at the college, you will get 40% practical. So you not only go identify the problem, but you can go solve the problems yourself. Okay. You're able to go with your hand and say, yes, I can fix this plumbing work. I can fix the carpentry work. So they are otherwise, like I said to you, these people now are job creators. Then say, we will see, okay, I can open a small carpentry shop. I go able to do my doors and I will do doors where people will really like for getting at the houses then. I go able to do the plumbing. If you get small plumb plumbing problem, you don't need to go call plumber. You say, we will address them and make sure, say, yes, you get quick fix until you get a professional plumber for can look at. But like in Papa and Jai, they say, most of the people there, when they work over the years, they are not satisfied. And most of them, why they know they do the work the way they expect them, I think, say, because they lack that precision where the work requires. Okay. You know, then they do the job, but they know they do it. So, in fact, in the short course, we they do something like what we call professional ethics. We teach them how to relate with people, how to improve your customer service, mm. how to improve on your precision way they work. And that is what people are looking for now. You can agree with me, say, somehow they do bricklaying. claim. They will let the block, but when you look at the block, the block bend, they don't bend, yeah, sure. You don't plaster, the plaster no level, so mm. side and they will not square. Yeah. You see, so that's what we're teaching them. We make sure they them precision and they then get them and before we go for certify them. What you do? Because when you can't have the short courses, as much as we do the theory, but you also they do practical before we certify you. So in those practicals, we get people that really can evaluate and look at them and grade them and make sure they do them and they get them right. And that is what the university is doing at the moment. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Reverend. I will come back to you and make a count to me, your, um, I can say, me boss. <laughs> Lizzie, guy. Uh, Lizzie, as you know, you're waiting, Papa and Jay, Reverend, don't say, um, but you also said, let me look at um, the certification of um, the university itself from TC, you know, and uh, recently when I don't get another accolade from England, we want to get for collaborate with them for begin for do other courses. Um, let me look at that. Yes, um, George, as has been done earlier, we get a, a standard to maintain. Mm. Yes, we uh, widely don't receive the certificates from TC mm. with our credit we for be a grade A university, okay. um, which is a plus for us. And um, and we also don't see good things to follow. You know, the external program man is here. It uh, makes so much strides. Some of them, we are 
uh, reaching out to them and some of them are reaching out to us which is a very good thing mm. yes some of them are reaching out we've had people coming from other countries to come and study us to come and learn from us mm. like recently we had the gambian minister of education to us you know to to to, to seek knowledge from us mm. which is a plus how, for us how you go about it Exactly. So this is, this is why this university, we're always saying that we have a standard to maintain. Mm. And that's why we are not here for play. We're here for serious business. And um, the administration is always making it known to new staff who are being employed into the university for you to know that this particular university takes quality assurance to be a top-notch something. And so because we don't want our quality assurance to dwindle, you know, the administration frowns at any form of anomalies. And that's why during the time that this new staff are employed, they have what they call orientation for them, wherein they will be told about the do's and don'ts. And, and so for any staff that fall wanting, because we don't want our standard to dwindle. Yeah. So we are not in for great exchange, extortion of money from students. No, that's a no-no for us here at MMTU. And you know, there are times, then we say, a village person don't fall out. Can I ask you? Because mm. something that we you don't say you know for do, then you do them. Mm. You know, when posting where you say, oh, this in village people are in Falag and Kansu, yeah. so, you know, they can't, or sometimes a monkey just want for try chance, yeah. thinking that maybe, ah, not talk, then they talk. It's business as usual, it's happening everywhere. It can also, it can also happen here. And then you go try chance, then go do them. Then when you do them, then of course, you self go see the consequences. We have, we've had staff, we've had lecturers who have fall victim of such, you know, disobeying the rules and all. And the way it is done, when once you found one thing, you are investigated, and then once you are investigated, what's the findings from the investigation and the recommendations, that's what the administration goes by. And we've had staff who, where um, the committee, they don't recommend, mm. don't give their young recommendation. We found one thing, and at times the committee can give a recommendation based on the conditions of service. Okay. Yes, which you know for do, it's all there. So apart from the orientation, therefore we give them back, and then are the conditions of service. When you as a staff, you get the responsibility for letting you look and know what you for do, what you not for do, and what you your penalty. Okay. So some staff then they will don't for one thing of such. Mm. It is sad to say, really, because you know they expect, because this is not the way that they always tell them. So all wait, wait, meeting wait, 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 wait till they don't do the staff? Well, right? according to the committee mm. recommendation, some mm. of them are to be dismissed okay. because of the gravity. Some found exchanging grades, which is a very, very serious crime. Mm. You know, so they're not dismissed there now, of course, okay. they will be dismissed. The one in the way they found wanting okay. because the administration always they work on within the committee recommend and take action as per the committee yeah. recommendation. Well, I just say this because for let people they know how prepared we are. Mm. We know, say we don't get the university, but the fight is still on. We have we still have our naysayers who will say, Ah, and tell me, don't go get there, no, we can't see there now, but mm. we're ready for say, Look at. Now they want to be university. Look what thing they do. Yeah, like Look. with with bank is exactly to so whom much is given. Much is expected. Okay. So we want to let people and Lucy at MMTU, mm. we standard, we maintain them. You send you picking Kanayaso, you picking go get the best education, and you picking go be disadvantaged. You know they send you picking Kanaya for the lecture, I can't extort money or for the lecture, I can't sleep with them. No, you know they happen a multi magai. Rest assured, so you picking Kanaya, na home away from home, now they you picking on council. The administration, a Combra administration, will they look out for the students them. Okay. With those are open, then get a senior warden, even the director of academic affairs, and even the principal, mm. which not they happen at no university, we all go to universities there. Yeah. Some of we tell we, from what we go till we done, we principal, we no one they up front and safe before, for seeing and safe, you know they see them. But at Multimagaya, this we administration okay, is very different, it's very unique. We're very, very open. Open door so, policy. So parents not for have no fear that you picking come to Magai. Peking will get the best education. And we also have back from not sure you picking. We know saying I'll get some picking when I just 16 years, 17 years. We get to win. The administration made plan, we get cancelling people away, and they left them picking a day too. Wait for at least for not sure they're picking a day for look at them. Because some picking at the very first time they can't come out for my parents. Yeah. And they can now come mix with them. They can't mix with them, but we don't mature. They come to my church and say, so now don't marry it safe. And they all come into them. So, you know, it's a difficult situation. So, but we, Namutimaga, we're not just left to pick in a cinema. For Kalan, we're not a university in a big man and big woman. 
you know. We even can call a, 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 a parents lecturers conference. We can right. get them. We are in with the get discussion with the parents them. Some people might say, oh, how did they make it in a secondary school? You know, but because we know this, we get picking them with under parental care. We get picking them with small liars, so we not even of age yet, where they are not adults yet. Mm. So we they take all that day into consideration. Okay. You know, one letter pick you, you can for can fend for can learn book for can better in safe, you can pull well in safe. Yeah, sure. Now we don't want that situation there at all. So me want for assure parents and for see multi magai. You make multi magai as a choice. You don't make the very best choice. You cannot go only get the education where it deserved, but we go also not sure for where it go out. Let it be a better citizen where you the parents self will be very proud of. Okay, let me look at um, one major important thing we um, people in Guam for know about the uh, admission process. As we all know, say, uh, before you become university, um, you, you get criteria as a way for fulfill. One, you, they expect you say, forget your required, your requirements, mm -hmm. you know, the four or the five subjects. Mm -hmm. um, and also, process and the way you get for go through. So, you know, just take we through because so many times people, they get confused on some of their stuff there. Well, as I tell people then for see Milti Magai we different. You come na Milti Magai College for make inquiry, your problem could be solved. We admission process not tedious at all. Mm. You go na the bank, you pay for your fee, you come na the college with the bank sleep. So long as you don't get you don't meet your requirements. Even if you're not sure, mm. when you come, you say you go apply, then they're able to tell you. If you get the requirement or not, if something like this you want for can apply, so then go before advice you and guide you say no. This particular say you say you get so. Not to yonder you for go. Because we can get some beginners until we come, you just see in, in grade very good for a particular faculty that you go to in go to say Nayana Wango. We go advice, say no, this particular grade we get so Nayasu, you fit you fit for go. Oh. That's multi magai for you. We admission process so simple, you're not tedious at all. Hmm. You go to the bank, you pay, you 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 process in fee. You come with the bank slips now the finance office. With finance office, then on day you can answer from eight o'clock you meet with finance office. Even before eight half past seven, you meet with, with finance office open. And then they taste something even thank you, even they say something then five thirty six. So Milti Magai, admission process as I say, a very, very simple. You can they you left your bank slip and go give you, you pay for your admission process. We also get Usa you did do admission. Okay. So you don't need for go. Pay na den cafe the way some man go fake you. It mm. go make like you don't apply for you. No apply for you. Mm. You tell you say I don't send her. We now we can have your own center now. Then they do everything there for you. Simple. Very simple, yes. We do yeah. that there just for make things simple for we students then because Boku can get complain. We don't mm. see Boku so we go say hey I apply. They not call me. We will check now. So we not see your application mm. because until the center we go apply. They not apply for her. Yeah, they not send up. Yes, they not send her. They make like for say they apply. Mm. They not apply for her. But when you do that with with Mister Magai, it no go happen so with you okay you know we admission process is still going on okay students are still applying now you can come a very very simple you can even see now you see go now website mmtu.edu.sl list of programs them all go there as i tell you so we get very rich programs and courses them we get degree programs them bachelor of science in education when at the bsc head when inside that you can do maths physics chemistry, biology, agricultural education, and home sciences. And we also get the Bachelor of Education win at the B.Ed. where we get a range of courses, them also educational administration and management, social studies, educational guidance and counseling, you know, so on and so on, French, English, we get practical arts, early childhood education, mm. very, very important. Yeah, and, and, and you know, say, be not lost. Very, very but important, yes. People don't know, they know the We're not able to forget, yeah. you, go, you go see some teacher within a nursery. You go all cane for picking. So she said, I had a scared and I'm not a bitter. No. You they make some picking and go to the way they, where your mama they dress in the morning for, for go to school. And they're afraid. They're afraid. What's mm. my this picking afraid for? Mm. Teacher, they go beat me. Mm. No. You can't do that. The nurse is picking, you don't be the old king for it. Because most of them don't get the training. They don't get, they don't get the training. How for do with picking? The, the kind of things that we you for learn the picking at some particular Eight. stage. Yeah. Yes. They don't get them. They just go into it. Some man, some man sometimes not a fumble. We sometimes we sit back here, you not get nothing for the you be in Canada school. Mm. You not get no training. Sure. But with this now you can can you can enroll, we able for teach you, let you know how for go take care of picking it. even nursing, even then nanny, how for take care. You can come and decide your childhood. Self be able for tell you how for go take care because now how for take care of picking. Okay. Now in this early childhood, 
also day about. We also get BA program when at the Bachelor of Arts. We inside they get public administration and management, international relations, population, family life, education, peace and conflict studies. And we also get the BTEC program. We more based in the Congo Coast campus. We um, engineer. We don't talk about, but yeah. we get also the laboratory technology back. Mm. We fall under the the BTEC. As I say, people and just go check on our website. You go see range range of we the pro, uh, the uh, programs we get. Yeah. Yes, we go Bachelor of Sciences. We now BSc. We the business administration and inside. There we get accounting and finance, banking and finance, secretarial studies, insurance. So many. Let people and just go check on our website. www.mmtu.edu.sl and you go see a range of programs and courses there. Okay. Okay, then uh, Elizabeth C.C., the public relations officer of the Bill Bagai Technical University. Um, we go take a short break and uh, we'll come back. The program will continue. Welcome again to the program, Business Focus. As we tell you now today, we're in uh, the Military Magai Technical University, and we did look at some of the programs, um, especially when you talk about technical aspects of within the university they do now. As I tell you earlier that, um, you know, when you use the hand, <laughs> many a times we don't see people that come up, other colleges in the Kandong, you know, they go tell you, say they go learn engineering, but you put engine before them. Or any other thing, they're not capable for do the practical. Then the practical aspect of everything, nine, then they do, and nine will look at today. Papa and Jay, welcome again to Thank the program. You. Thank you, Papa. Now, let me look at um, the causes, them, eh? where they under you um, domain, and also um, let me look at the importance of them causes there for the nation at this particular period of time, where we did so. Well, thank you again, and uh, we'll um, briefly talk about them. I think engineers will talk about them. One of the flagship programs that we will get at the end of the engineering faculty, mm. um, the short courses that we don't develop the, and we don't get the first cohort um, of students that will not graduate from that program. Then they, um, first, the auto automotive repair, you know, the small engine there, motor car engine there, mm. okay, fantastic mechanics there. And uh, we some of the really the real mechanics them they just come they say one get the actual practical experience uh. from a professional seasoned professional we don't need in the UK for for decades uh. and uh, Mr. Lamin Kuruma, an engineer Kami Kuruma, all Masabi and this country yeah, um, go through you know um, the in, in program. Um, then we don't go through the carpentry. I think engineer Luis don't talk about that. Yeah. Self self can go there, see them young men, some of them get the workshop them already, then say one come add get them through the professionals again, get the certificate where they will go hang on the wall for okay. saying, you know, me self now a professional carpenter. Mm. Um, the other for uh, things like plumbers there again, the plumbing program is very, very active there. This is then all the shock program, electrical, electrical installation, okay. refrigeration. We get them kind of programs and daily. These are them all the people that will not go to them tomorrow, they wait for government for getting jobs. They okay. wait for themselves for develop their own workshop them. Get the young you know, people the way they go higher. So they are not going to be job seekers, they are going to be job creators. So that's the program. Um, we have the faculty there again under um, the area of uh, hotel, hospitality and tourism. Uh, and they get fun event program like event management. From small birthday party to a big convention, now you can go learn how to handle that thing that day. Not a thing that we can just say, well, I want to organize marriage today. No, we get professionals there. Uh, we get culinary program, then the food management, hosp other hospital, housekeeping, all that thing, and the all home science program here yeah, from cosmetology um, that we get them. And we, in fact, we get a new program where pretty soon they, they start again. I come across we are an official institute. We now cosmetology number in the focus on. Wow. So that again, hopefully by uh, the end of this academic year to the um, end of this um, year to early January, we will start that program. Then. 
and uh, baking, confectionery, we get there. Uh, and we have other academic programs there again, and the social sciences there, um, from PTSD, post-traumatic stress, you know, to mental health issues them, and uh, to a condensed version of a seven-month, six-month certificate program in social work, that is every day. And uh, so a wide range of programs where all the target, as I said earlier on, is middle-level manpower. Mm -hmm. We want people that way, if they come out, you know, they go see the again now, they ask government again, we say the work day. And people that way, they don't say now, myself able to be an entrepreneur for myself now, able to develop, and in fact, even hire some other people that can come work for you. Can work for you. Okay. Now, um, recently we see Una partner with... Um, I would say when I get accreditation from uh, the CILT, we na the Churchill Institute of Logistics and Transport, with them based uh, the UK, yes, and indeed. this fall under your purview. Yes, indeed, and uh, something we last week was probably one of my best weeks in a very long time. Okay. You know, I don't work on this thing for over one year, you know, quietly uh, with the organisation uh, the UK. CIMT in the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. Mm. Then they in 40 plus countries around the world, 40 countries plus. Okay. So imagine now we don't face car, we don't get this full accreditation now, you know, for the next three years and hopefully we'll be for the new one again. Um, for develop program, the certificate and diploma program then, for the first time in the history of the country. For the first time for any institution, I said earlier, for develop run the kind of program then they we don't need to go to Ghana because then they are in Ghana. I don't look at them, they can get so few universities that get them. So people the way they need them, maybe Sierra Leone, Gambia, or Liberia, they can go all the way to Ghana, Nigeria, or Kenya, or other areas. Then you don't need to go there anymore. Now we can be able to run this program there. The, the education we will get there, the same education you get in Ghana, the same one you will get in the UK, or America, or Thailand, all the 40 countries there, we get the same standard curriculum. The same examination, and when you get them, you they get you know a certificate issued by us, and also a certificate issued by them, and that you can take on any side. Even the United Nations can get away for calculate and recognize um, the certificate here. Yeah. It will be a game changer for we, not only for we MMTU, but what they for the whole country in terms of again we'll come back to the middle level manpower. You know, imagine all of Wataki, world class port we will get, and uh, how we able to train the people there. Uh, our lungi, all the, you know, the needs the way that we get in terms of logistics. And uh, all supply chain issues that within the country, mm -hmm. we able now to run some of them programs there by us, some of our faculty members there, and also by seasoned professionals there, when are members of CILT, Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport. So you go, if you, you travel, survey the country very well. You go, all the offices will get logistics department, mm -hmm. we get inventory, we get warehousing. Mm -hmm. Supervisors, then they, the staff, they, most of them not get certificate. You know, so now you can come there now, you get a training in logistics, training in warehousing, training in other types of management, customer service and other areas. Mm. Um, so every department that's here today, they're all welcome. So this one will cater around, again for the professionals there again, it will be evening classes and it will be weekend classes again. So you don't go up, you know, to disrupt your day-to-day -day work. So this is the program today, the newest program we'll get now, MMTU, the Temagai Technical University. We are really, we happy to have them and uh, everybody's welcome to come and check it out and hopefully in October or maybe a couple of weeks from now we want to get an open house we can invite people that they can learn more meet with us meet with the lecturers and teachers and let them learn more about the programs that we will get okay thank you very much uh, Papa and Joe we'll come back to you as um, we are about to wrap up the program engineer let me look at um, you know, with all of the courses there you know, somebody can tell you, say, well, them causes here, they find a paper, uh, the practical aspect of it, as you don't say, uh, one of the try. But it's here, um, look, look at the, the equipment wise, the things a moon are able to use for do some of them practical aspect of this, when I get the capacity. Um, thank you very much, George. Yes, I want to tell you, say, we get up, in fact. From this morning, I don't get over 200 plus people where they come for can do inquiry just because they want for can be a guy, knowing that we get so much for offer in terms of practical. And uh, before I go to your question proper, I want to tell you, see, we get various levels there. We get the trade certificate. We, if you don't get all the requirements for kind of degree or the other programs, you can come. We can learn you trade. We go learn you till like a plumbing, till like a painting. We get the one day. Then we get the national vocational certificate. We will bring you kind into a mainstream but at a lower level. We get the diploma program, one or two years. We get the HND program. 
before you go to the degree. But like I said to you now, we get the carpentry workshop, which is fully operational. We get all the machinery is there. I tell you earlier, I say all the chairs and table all they use now in our college, now they will fabricate them. Mm. And we give students and the opportunity for able for go see waiting and do necessarily participate in them. You know, some of them were so 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 much happy when they go to a workshop, then see the machine. So I'm going to tell you, say, we don't the yeggy but spindle molder. We don't ever see them. Now we can we can see them. You know, you go to the automobile section. So they go tell you, say, we don't ever see that kind of hydraulic jack on again. We only hear about saying a pit then can put motor car, but whether hydraulic jack will lift the motor car up and able for examine on that if you get on that carrier problem. You go to the metal workshop, you go see that they do welding, you get all sort of welding machines then they a good for let yourself come and see them. Because when the student then go there, then they get the opportunity for see them, for some for use them. We get late machine, then late stone out, they do all kind of late stone in there. You see? Okay. So when the student then go to a workshop, they get the ability for for user. And the most of the students we come to me this morning, I ask them, I say, why do you people choose Milti Magai? They say, engineer, we don't hear so much about Milti Magai, and we don't know the student that we don't come on, they, they're able to do something for themselves in terms of practical, as compared to one that we go to other university. They say, but they come to other university, yes, they will talk the book, but they're not able for even identify implement, implement, uh, various <laughs> uh, uh, equipment, uh, tools that they, they use. Okay. In fact, for we short course, that is where we start. Okay. You identify all the tools the way they use in your area. Then before you can, it's a six-month program, but four of them, six months a day, with the focus on the academic side, but then the balance two months now purely practical. Yeah. If they do break lane, if we're able for some, if we use travel, if we're able for use level, if we're able for use your plumb up, if we're able for use your building line, and all of those ones, if we're able for do them, let we see say yes, this man's have been with it. And then whether they do them, even at that level, they involve with students there. They come for practical, let's say they involve because they grade them on that one. We degrade them on that to make sure say yes, then go out with the hand. So by the time they're done, you know, go go ask somebody where they do bricklay and say, go give me trowel, they go give you square. Mm. So it's a big trowel, it's a big square, it's a big plumb up, it's a big building line, it's a big level. And similarly for the other one, is the like automobile. Mm. You know, go ask man, say, go take 12 spanner, and go take wrench. We we'll show them all the different types of tools they way that they use now the workshop and how then they use them. And also they focus so much on occupational health and safety, okay. not only for user. But okay. how they're for user and how for stack them tools they need, how for dinner workshop, wait and wait for use that workshop. You get forget you steel to boot, you get forget you flasher, you reflectorize vest and you overall. You get for make sure say you get your helmet. Some of them they use air uh, muffs. The safety the precaution. Yes, so. all the safety precaution goes with the training. Okay. So by the time when you don't, you fit now any kind of factory for work. So okay. you don't need for go for like Lizzie say armchair job. You can go to a factory and that makes the difference. With somebody who go to other college, he can he will just want the armchair job for the right report. But the man will come out to you when he go back to the field, you go for tell you say no, there is problem in the mechanical workshop, I can go there and go fix that problem. Okay. There is problem in the carpentry workshop, I can go there and go fix that because he don't see the machine, he don't see the tools, he don't see the equipment there. Okay. Um Lizzie, la come back to you. Le, you talk about quality assurance. Mm -hmm. You know, quality assurance, you talk about, um, you know, the college and then college, certain, certain things that we, uh, they go on, like, if you go to universities, um, you go see sexual grade, uh, you go see, oh, there are plenty of things that they happen, where we all know, say, as we don't go to universities, um, we know that they happen, not inside the but you say, yeah, not happen. And, uh, it's not only about that. Let us look at um, the learning aspect of it. When you talk about quality assurance, involve the teaching and uh, you know examination. These are all part of quality assurance. Let us look at that. From there, we will look at another aspect. Um, George, yes, as I said, in all form, we want for attain quality assurance, and mm. we feel so we don't get them because as you talk here, even the lecturing, we get modalities they will put in place for ensure the lecturers. They go lecture, mm -hmm. for instance, and they take attendance and all. And not only that, but the director of academic affairs and even the principal can just take on, on the spot check for go around the classroom them and check, you know. So then they make you lecture and you very well know, say, you never can tell because there is no schedule for it for say, oh, they go for doing check today. Not only at Godrich campus here, yeah, because now they the the director of academic affairs and the principal in your office. In fact, the principal in your office, in your office now, first campus, you get office now. Congo Coast Campus. So sometimes they today go just see them, now Congo Coast Campus, it will work. You know if you know. So we get modalities them where we put in place. Mm -hmm. And as I say, 
the students then get that freedom, that free will for talk. If lecture or not the lecture, then fine. The principal get what he call uh, uh, um, students forum. We are in new and I'm Mrs. F not even did it. Nobody not even did it, not even the director of academic affairs. Now just he and the students them. And in that student forum they they feel free for tell them whatever. So all that they help. Because mm -hmm. when he know the lapses, he know what's in the students. Says. For instance, you lecture, you go instead of you go for go lecture, and for go tell students about your achievements or what you don't make. There's some 10, 5, 10 minutes more you lecture. You know, we have students who are bold enough where they know what's in the college for, what's in mm -hmm. they want, and what's in the loss, we lecture or not, they lecture them. Then they come, they can't talk. You know, and we also encourage digital learning. We also they help. We are in lecture, not for counting up in a classroom, you begin to dictate to notes. Where you can a classroom. That student, that senior student must not note down. What you want for come, ask you, what you don't understand. Mm -hmm. And then we the expect you now for come, you explain to the students. Now make we get online portal. Mm -hmm. Where in a day the lecturers, they all they upload the notes them. So it's available to the students them for let them read beforehand, they already get. And also that other lecturer can they can begin dictate. A is for Apple, B is for Ball. No, not, not to that kind of style. They. We expect now with a lecture they can a class waiting up. Now discussing the students to discuss. Okay. The students say I get issue, he able for talk to her, able for tell her. And instead of able for explain, make them understand. understand. Yeah, we get so many modalities them where we put in place where for ensure say we get quality assurance in all shades of form. Let me look at another issue. You know, you talk about um, Removing of some staff, them waiting for a shot of some certain today. Somebody there or there go and say, mm, mm, What's it happen to my guy? Not to witch hunt, and the witch hunt some man, <laughs> or not to just uh, because of bad blood or all that stuff. No, it's, it's nothing about witch hunt. You know, mm. some of the staff that are looking for one thing, they know say they are guilty. Mm. We don't get staff, then we, we don't dismiss because of exchange of grades. Nothing, they're not challenged, you know, because they know they are guilty. It's not like there are times the proof can already did, but yet still the administ administration not just to take that decision. They so it goes set up a committee for investigate. And I can tell you, for set up a committee for investigate, it takes a lot on the administration, mm. both financially and also resource. Because you have colleagues them wait for take time to tell now for they don't take times of their own schedule now for council on investigation. But yes, still with that constraint they all because the administration want to make sure they give a fair hearing to the person come and define yourself. Then if after that investigation they, you have still found one thing, the committee find you guilty and give them a recommendation. Of course the administration will just get for follow the recommendation and at that day they happen. So it's nothing about witch hunts, because if it's about okay. witch hunts, the administration will just look and say, I find I get this thing against you, you are out. No, but you are go, you do go now if you are hearing, you say self make you point, you talk. That in the end you say self they don't say yes. We get some of them who they talk and say yes, are guilty, it's a mistake. Okay. But it's some mistake late. then they na error. Not to, not to, yeah, not to mistake, correct. exactly, because okay. you know that this is wrong. It always they always they remind you that every meeting with a call general assembly. Frequently, the administration, the general assembly, frequently, and all these things are being told there. Okay. So, for let you come back again, you do them. They say it's a mistake. And often say we for encourage and for let student then they suffer. Just imagine, for grades, sometimes that student will not study. The way we not study, go get higher grade. Yeah. Sometimes the way we study now, you get. Or some of them are money, enable for pay money. Enable mm. for pay money for let you gear with you for gear. They infill because you know you know get you know, the money yeah, for pay. You sure. know, students in parents or man and parents they don't struggle with don't send that. They begin extort money from from that students. They so man even again they do sexual uh, yeah. uh, 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 relations with students they forget. It's really really terrible anyway. So that is it. So I don't know if anybody go say now witch hunt. It is not. It has nothing to do with witch hunting. Now just for let we maintain with standard and let discipline prevail. Okay. Okay, well, from all we there about for wrap up the interview now. And as I tell you today, we did now the Multimagai Technical University. And as you know, I from the discussions and the things that we did not say. And I believe say yourself don't take something home today, or you don't learn something from what you don't say. But we're not going to not ask them this question. Um, when I get one minute for answer this particular question, I will start with uh, engineer. Engineer, let me look at what you feel, say, how you feel, say, Milton Magai, they contribute to the GDP of the economy, the growth of 
the economy of the country in which aspect. Tell you, thank you, George. Like I can say to you, one thing we know the lack over the year that the middle level manpower. Mm -hmm. And in that area, now we attitude to work and with precision of work. But at Milti Magai, that's what we train you for do. You forget a good and a positive attitude to work. When you go work, you don't say that work you can. Mm. And when you work, you get for no say the clients that my first priority I get for satisfaction. So you precision must get for daily. And over the years, the one that we don't come on with Timaga, if you ask the various institutions, don't they prove well in that direction? They will tell you, say, yes, they are thorough in what they, they do, and then do them with all sincerity. So I think that is a positive contribution towards the GDP of the country. Okay. Um, Papa Enjoy, <laughs> then we come back to you. Okay. As you know, you're from within uh, Reverend Ose. What are you on take on that? How you feel, say, this college? Be able to improve the economy of this country. I think say, the, the engineer don't summarize everything out there in terms of real human capacity development, human capital development. That's not the goal for be a university. Um, I don't travel a little bit. I don't see how other world class universities will survive. For long we go, we reach, we able to change it, the nation. Mm -hmm. um, three things: teaching historically, we don't do that. The yeah, university. sure. The other thing: research. We get for good and thing. The third one, the other pillar, community service. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a technical university, we therefore look at our neighborhood. We are surrounding the area. What are the social problems for Problem, people in that area? What are the university your contribution now for solving small problems there? Me we sit there to go out my colleagues there. We all don't adopt the research project there. We even work on we now for solve the problem within the local community. Okay. Last year maybe you've been aware of that the American ambassador yeah, can sure. for dance showcase, see some of the projects that they from stone miners there now to somebody with a look at the Okada problem there, wait and the now uh, areas there now, to um, the the tipa the, the sand 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 mining and uh, today we look at classrooms there now plastic waste these are community burning issues there we will not allow people there from outside to help now we as a technical university for say this is now young contribution for look at problem and we solve the problem for train the young men and women there for let them go back our goal not for be job seekers. Our goal is short to be job creators. And I'll tell you, say, we get our open uh, innovation hub called World Bank of Identify. Now, we're okay. one of three universities at the whole of Sierra Leone for get an incubation hub where you can come up with an entrepreneur, an idea, a body idea. We can't tell we, we're able for nurture, for coaching, for let you become a successful businessman, successful entrepreneur. This is new. So we depend on training right now. By the end of the year, the early next year now, you go see now young men and women, they will be trained there. Not only for do carpentry or maybe engineering other area. They engineer now for they say, I have an idea. Then can't we, we coach them now to let them be successful business people again. This they will call innovation hub or incubation hub. We get that we depend on the right now. And go across the game, we get a fine computer lab. Well fitted, air conditioned. We can learn about anything about computers mm -hmm. there now. From CAD, AutoCAD to GIS now to typing to Java, C. We get a lab there. So okay. hopefully you can go, go visit and see all of that there. But well, this now your contribution. So we team guys, we are here open for business and uh, we hope say all the fun with the can check we out. Thank you. Wow. Okay, then our Papa enjoy and uh, Lizzie may cacao back to you. <laughs> As you know, for me, colleagues, um, and what they don't say, what you go and do to now? Well, my colleague then don't summarize it all, I could say, but if I can just reiterate, Multimagai gets a lot for offer the country. We, in the long run, we get for reduce. And, and we're, not, we're not even talk about the, 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 the lab. Yeah, of course, with science lab, you mm. know, I think say people don't know about with science lab now. Okay. It's still on, and we they get more mm. equipment coming in. Mm. The science laboratory will get yeah, to the Godrich campus now. So we boastfully they say it out loud that we have the best science laboratory, and we get the um, technicians them. We're able mm. for handle them. We're able for impart the knowledge, for show the students them how for you. So for we, as we say, Multimagai, not for just can write right. The students, the able for use. We get a lab tech. I tell you, so we get a, mm. a BTEC programming, laboratory, sure. technology. Mm -hmm. And we go only do that day if we get a very super lab. Sure. So we see we they do a degree program, not even a diploma, but it's a degree program in laboratory technology. And we see we lab fully equipped and fully functional. And we they get 
more updated equipment them for camera. Where they come, yeah. And, uh, and as I say, we get a lot in the long run, a few years more from now, we will get for see less dropouts them because of multi Magai. Okay. The innovation courses the way we did do. You know, the last time we get um, 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 from a short courses then from the home sciences department, you get somebody we talk saying a single mother. You know, even they do this thing after four and a but it not be so perfect. It don't can do the cause now. You see this now? And if you be seeing cake, and then the food that we make, what do you think them is so nice? Imagine that person will be sitting there, he says, don't know, he's not getting nothing for do, you know, what thing. Only when you're here, one day, no more person, they talk about multi magai. This is a short course. Now, you can say, like, ask, the bless Papa and Jaol. We can ask, and Papa and Jaol meet. Yes, but you don't can learn. I say, with this way, you don't can learn soon now. You know, say you're not going to sit down idle again. Yeah. You're not going to go stress family again mm. for Giam. Because with this now, you get for the able. We they see them picking and now we they do they have half bakery, they have half baking them and all that. First, they don't want to do them, go just sit down idle one. Yeah. Because they don't get requirements for Khan College for going on the academic side. What they go do, especially the woman, them. Some of them now go, go involved in negative things, them. Mm. Even the man, they say, first, they say, now woman, now in the pool. Now we they see how the boy picking in the pool. Cushion, then the box, they already they take and all. Yes. And they say, the, uh, 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 the idle man, and the idle man, now the devil in the workshop. workshop. So you see, but if they are engaged and get some way they do, where they go now, who's, you get out of the tell and say, hey, my electric don't make you under, okay, look, but I lose my funny and bug, okay, look. And no get time for lady by idleness. Yeah. Because for the day, sometimes I get two, three machines we get for me. So, my mm. guy get, get a lot for contributes. Okay. Well, uh, that's now uh, Elizabeth Sisse, the public relations officer for the Built Magai Technical University. For the things um, where we don't discuss inside the program today, and as I tell you, the essence of this program now for bring come um, ideas um, you know where it will make if you want for going to business or you want for engaging in entrepreneurship, you will able for get an, an idea how you will able for go about that, and also. But we only took contribution is for make sure say the country, you know, go able for move and uh, you know bring opportunities and experts them people that way they know which that they do and they know which in they kick which they the talk. As I tell you, we they don't meet my guy today and the interview we we'll do um we we'll get Papa in Jai, we now the coordinator of the short courses and external programs now the university and also we get um Reverend in and the acting uh, dean of uh, faculty for engineering at the Congo Cross Campus, we are uh, Reverend Rodney Chairman Lewis, and also Elizabeth Sisse, we are the public relations officer, now they able for talk to it inside the program. And remember, as always, we will call the program, I mean, George Elliott, and becoming a man for today's program, do be Samuel Akabo and Regina Norman, and also be producers, and be Ezekiel Favor Cabo. Leonor Ajawa and also the executive producer of me, Mr. Philip Neville Senior. We will look at the program once again, Mina George, Tata, and God bless you. I came on, yeah, and I said